Can Fisker Inc., once hailed as an innovative force in the electric vehicle industry, survive the challenges it's facing today? This question rings in the minds of many as we delve into the rise of Fisker, a company that initially took the EV world by storm. Founded by the charismatic and visionary Henrik Fisker, the company rode on a wave of optimism. Fisker's early achievements were marked by the launch of the Fisker Ocean EV, a sleek and eco-friendly SUV that promised to revolutionize the industry. The Ocean EV wasn't just a car, it was a beacon of hope for a greener future, garnering an impressive number of reservations and setting the stage for a promising start. Amidst the buzz of the Ocean's launch, Fisker was also making strategic moves to secure its foothold in the industry. The company announced a game-changing partnership with ChargePoint, giving Fisker owners access to a vast network of charging stations. This was a significant step in addressing one of the major concerns for potential EV owners, the availability of convenient charging options. To further its reach, Fisker unveiled plans for a new dealer partner model, a shift from its initial direct-to-consumer sales approach. This strategic pivot aimed to foster closer ties with local communities and provide a more personalized buying experience for customers. But as we know, the road to success is often paved with obstacles. Despite its initial success, Fisker has been facing significant challenges. In the early days of Fisker, optimism was high. A thrilling new player in the electric vehicle market, the company was poised to make waves. However, in the company's 2023 earnings call, a much more grim picture was painted. Fisker reported a net loss of $463 million, despite bringing in $200 million in revenue in the fourth quarter. Underperforming sales were pointed out as a key contributing factor for this loss. This financial turbulence led to the announcement of a 15% workforce reduction, a move that sent shockwaves through the company and the industry. But the cuts may not stop there. Fisker acknowledged that if its current resources prove insufficient over the next 12 months, the company may need to seek additional equity or debt financing. This could potentially lead to further layoffs, a prospect that undoubtedly weighs heavily on the minds of remaining employees. Adding to the tension, Fisker has put a pause on future products. Ambitious plans for vehicles like the Pair SUV and the Alaska truck have been shelved, at least for now. This decision was made as the company negotiates with a large unnamed automaker to form a strategic partnership. These struggles have, unsurprisingly, impacted Fisker's stock value and investor confidence. The company's shares, once a beacon of promise, have seen a significant decrease. This rocky financial situation has sparked substantial doubt about Fisker's ability to continue as a going concern. Yet even amidst these challenges, Fisker remains hopeful. The company's new dealer partner model, set to launch in 2024, is a crucial part of their strategy to stabilize and grow. The question now is, how will Fisker navigate these challenges? As we watch this story unfold, it's clear that the road ahead for Fisker is uncertain. But one thing is sure, the world will be watching. The future of Fisker Inc. is uncertain, but not without hope. Despite the bleak outlook conveyed in its recent earnings call, the company is not throwing in the towel just yet. It's in the midst of a storm, but it's navigating its way out with a keen eye on the horizon. One of the key maneuvers in Fisker's survival strategy is its ongoing negotiations with a large yet unnamed automaker. This potential strategic partnership could be a game changer. It's a lifeline that Fisker is reaching for and if it materializes it could steer the company back into the fast lane. While future product plans for the Pair SUV, the Alaska pickup truck and the Ronin convertible have been put on pause, Fisker is banking heavily on its Ocean SUV. Despite a rocky start, the company is optimistic about the Ocean's prospects, with an expectation to sell between 20,000 and 22,000 Oceans worldwide. That's a significant number, and achieving it could help Fisker ride out the storm. Another crucial element in Fisker's recovery plan is its transition to the dealer partner model. It's a bold move, veering away from the direct-to-consumer sales model that has been the norm for many EV manufacturers. If successful, this new model could help Fisker establish a stronger foothold in the market, garner wider customer reach, and ultimately, generate more sales. In the face of adversity, Fisker's survival will depend on its ability to adapt and innovate. It's a bumpy road ahead no doubt but Fisker is showing it has the resilience and the resourcefulness to navigate its way through. The next few years will be critical for Fisker. It's a story of survival in the fast-paced, high-stakes world of electric vehicles, and the world is watching.